On Wednesday, July 13th, it was the last game of the regular season for Ashland Legion Baseball. 4-10 and 1, post 77 took on Sudbury. Sudbury led 6-0 into the top of the 7th and ended up adding five more runs in the inning and took the game 11-0. Ashland wrapped up the season with a record of 4-11 and 1. Sudbury later lost to Newton in the Zone 5 playoffs and wrapped up the season 13-6 overall. Despite a tough year record-wise, 2015 Hopkinton graduate Mike Messia enjoyed playing for Ashland post-77 this season. Mike, well, uh, a tough season over record-wise, but it looked like you guys had a lot of fun out there, a lot of young players that really seemed to develop this year. How do you think the year went? Um, you know, it was obviously frustrating year uh, record-wise, but, um, but, you know, it's a great group of guys. Um, we had a lot of fun with it, and uh, that's all you can ask for, so. And I noticed uh, a lot of the players moved around the diamond a little bit, got to play some different positions. Uh, I think I saw you at shortstop a couple times. You moved over to third base. Uh, how, how did, what did you think about the versatility of this team? It seemed like there was a lot of good uh, versatility here. Yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of young players that can, that can play a lot of positions, um, and that's always helpful on a team. Um, and for those individual players moving forward. All right, well, you're playing over at uh, Clarkson. How's that going for you? Very good, very good. I love it there. Excellent. So what's next on the agenda for you this summer? Uh, just, just a lot of training uh, and then heading back to school in August. So. All right. Well, congratulations on a great season and congratulations on a great Legion career. Thank you very much. All right. Here with head coach Derek Johnson. Coach, well, a tough season record-wise, but a young team this year. And it seems like everyone got some really good experience this year. Uh, could you just talk about how the year went overall? Yeah. You know, we kind of similar to last year, started off rough. And then towards the end there, we put together a couple good wins like last night at Natick coming back getting that win was big um, you know it started off with the fourth Bill Rick having a forfeit here on Sunday came back beat Luber Natick so you know could have had this game Miles pitched great you know I think if you look at his stats he, yeah it was a what 12 nothing game but only two were two runs of those were earned Right. You know, there's a lot of errors, but, you know, that's what it is with a young team. Towards the end of the year, you give kids a chance to play. You know, you hope that they come in and take, you know, the advantage of it, make the plays. A couple of them were tough. So, it is, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's the team we have. The kids battled all year. Had, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them will say they had a good time. They had a lot of fun doing it, too, so. Well, it certainly looked like you guys had uh, fun out there and a lot of versatility on this team. I noticed guys moving around to different positions a lot. Uh, how do you think uh, the players playing different positions and getting good uh, playing time in competitive Legion situations for these young guys uh, will affect the team going forward? Uh, it's good. You know, a lot of the kids that, you know, are playing in different positions are that's, you know, where they normally play. They may have been playing out of position, you know, early on. And it is more so to, you know, help out the team you know we only have 18 kids and then when you lose a couple and you show up with nine you know it kind of forces my hand so I got to put kids where I can do I necessarily want to play them at short or second or third or wherever no but if I got someone that you know depending on who we're playing you know you base it off of that you know mess stepping up he started us started off at shortstop you know the first half of the year and then he's playing third in college we want to give him some reps over there so it opens up an opportunity for one of the younger kids or like a Mike Krupe who's normally a second baseman to get in over there and get some ground while that's short. So, you know, these kids have high school seasons too. You don't want to like throw them too much out of position. But and it all comes down to the pitching thing like we talked about earlier. You know, without we don't have a staff. I think we got two kids, three kids that pitch and lose an obit to an injury early on. You know, I think he's only thrown two games at hurt, so you know, a lot of kids have been pitching this year, so it opens up spots for other kids. Right, and I don't think you can argue with the valuable experience that a lot of these younger players uh, got this season as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so, Coach, what's on the uh, slate for you the rest of the summer? Uh, I don't know. A lot of work. Uh, it's been going for the coach of the Devils 13U team in town, so that's over. This is over. And then I got a month off, and then AU picks up again. But we got the Chairman's Cup next week. 
you know, on Tuesday. So this is the focus right now. And put to put together some wins, hopefully through that, make a run, and then end the year on a good note. We'll okay. go from there. All right, well, best of luck in the Chairman's Cup, and thanks for another uh, fun season at Ashland Legion Baseball, and we look forward to next year. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot.